Okay, so I was just thinking I'm going to... I have a really popular blog post about vectorizing a hand drawing and it kind of goes over the basics of the pen tool. But then I thought it would probably be super helpful if we did what I did when I started learning Illustrator way back in the day. Don't ask me how long ago that was. Um, by actually just practicing. So our teacher just had a, I'll show you, um, a little practice guide that you can download on my blog on this specific blog post. So if you haven't already downloaded it, oh, download it. And let's see, there it is. save it to your desktop or something and then go into Illustrator, do a file and then a place and then just click and place this image within a new document. And then why don't we go ahead and lock it down. Let's do um, go up to your object and hit lock selection. That way you can't click on it, you can't move it. It's just there. And by tracing these lines that I have pre-drawn for you, it's going to help you get comfortable with the pen tool because that is by far, let's see, the most important tool within Illustrator. So let's select our pen tool and I'm just going to walk through these shapes with you. Um, again, go and download that this PNG file from my blog post and place it in a new document so that you can trace along with me. So for this first line, it's pretty easy, but there is a trick to get a nice straight line. So have your pen tool, or make sure you're on your pen tool. Make one click at the very beginning. Hold your shift key down, and you can see it kind of shows you where your line is so far. Hold your shift key down, and then click at the very end. And by holding your shift key down, and it wants to keep drawing, so just click off your pen and then back on. But by holding your shift key down, it m ensures that you have a nice straight line. And another tip here is if we keep, if we draw over top of these um, with black, we're not going to be able to see how straight or how on course we are. So let's go ahead and switch our stroke color to red or something so it sticks out. So now you can see I have a nice straight line. Okay, we're going to continue on. Let's do this jaggedy line. Again, anytime you're doing lines that don't have curves, you want to, as a rule of thumb, keep your shift key down. So click on the first area, hold your shift key down, and then it'll keep your line nice and straight for you. So click at the top and the bottom. Just keep your shift key down the whole time. And just trace. Oh, that one wasn't quite straight. There. So, you get the idea. You're just getting comfortable with clicking. Almost done. There. And again, since we're not going to close the path, we're just going to click off of it by clicking our arrow tool and then click on the blank space behind. And I guess I have some fill on here, so let's get rid of that. I'm going to click on that. And then down here in the left, I have it filling with white. Let's just change that to zero. So then we have just our nice red stroke. Okay, on to the next one. This is where the tricky part starts. With your pen tool, click on the first point. And we're going to click halfway through the curve. So at the top, click and hold your shift key down and then drag those points out. There we have our first curve. Now see how my curve is automatically starting like it wants to go not the way I want it to. So in order to release that, just go ahead and click back on the last point that you set. And then that gets rid of that curve. So now we are going to click on the downhill part, about halfway down this curve, we're going to click and we're going to drag it up. 
and then we're gonna release our curves so click back on the last point you just made and then we're gonna click in the middle of the curve click and drag our toolbars out well toolbars handlebars whatever you want to call them and then our curve is kind of going how we want it now so we're gonna click halfway up and then halfway and I don't like the shape of my curve so I'm gonna undo that start fresh there we go and now my curve is going the right way so I'm gonna click and drag halfway and what my teacher always taught me click at the top and drag is that you want to use the least amount of points or at least amount of clicks as possible um, in order to get a nice clean smooth curve so always keep that in mind the least amount of clicks there click at the top and then to move my screen I'm gonna hold my space bar down so my hand comes up and I'm gonna drag over and then my line is all kind of wonky if I click halfway and drag my bar out there we go and halfway halfway click and drag so you get the point let's move on to the next one circles well this is a semicircle but there's a trick to those let's start in the upper left we're going to click and we're going to hold our shift key down so we get a nice straight line to the other corner. And again, keeping that rule of thumb in mind, the least amount of clicks. I mean, I could do this, but as you can see, that didn't give me a nice smooth semicircle. So let's try it again. Least amount of clicks. We want to click in the corner. And in the other corner, and then we want to go to the middle of the semicircle down at the bottom. Click, hold your shift key down, drag those handlebars out till they're nice and centered. That's pretty close. And now you should be able to just move your mouse up to that last corner. Click, and then maybe a little bit of drag. It's not quite perfect. There we go. Pretty darn close. And like I said, the more you do this, the more accurate you're going to get. And wavy lines. Start. Go to midway of the curve. Hold your shift key down and pull out. And then go down. And then go to the middle. And then go to the middle. Go to the top. Second curve is a little tricky. And keep going. Least amount of clicks. Go. Click and drag out. Click and drag. And we're done. And then you can practice that a couple more times. You're, I can tell you're getting better already. And then again, with these curves, we're going to want to hit the midway points of the circles. So think of a circle or a curve. Um, as little sections. So we're going to start here. We're going to do our first curve. Then we're going to hit our curving point and drag out. And then another section. And then the top of the curve. And the side of the curve. And as the circles get bigger, you're just going to drag your handlebars out further. And then click and drag. And then at the top, and at the side, and at the bottom, at the side, and we're done. Not so bad, huh? <coughs> and this is another good practice. Um, let's see, let's do our circle first. So we're going to start at the top. 
go to the right side, click and drag, keep it nice and even, go to the bottom, that one's not quite on but we can fix that and go to the side and close it at the top. This needs a little adjustment. So let's adjust it by moving our point up. I think we just weren't quite centered. And then we can drag our handlebar down, drag our handlebar in. Same thing here, drag it down just a hair. There, pretty close. This one's not quite straight. Better. And then we can work on these side ones, click at the top, down till right before the curve starts and then you can hit the bottom of your curve and then hit it, try to hit it right at the same spot on the other side and then a straight line until you hit your top and then curve that one there. I'll show you that one one more time over here. Start right before the curve and then the middle of the top, drag it out, and then at the same point on the other side, click, and you're going to do a straight line, and then you're going to curve the bottom, and then you're going to close it with a straight line, just like that. So you can continue on and do those. You're going to be a pro after you finish, um, finish tracing the li these lines, and you know what? Trace it over and over again until you until you are feeling comfortable with it. And as always, my inbox is open. Erin Gifford Freelance at gmail.com. Go ahead and email me if you have any troubles at all. And I hope you have enjoyed and learned something new by watching this.